Okay, so for our next example, we're going to solve a probabilistic dynamic programming problem. So, for our example, we have So read that carefully, and then we're going to solve it. Okay, so now we are going to solve the example that I have shown you. The problem that I have shown you. So, of course, just like deterministic DP, we're going to define the stages, the state, the session variable, and the objective in order to solve a probabilistic dynamic programming. So in this case, our stage will be for trading weeks, state is the amount or price of alloy at a given stage in 10,000. Um, the session variable is either to purchase or not to purchase the alloy at a given stage, and the objective is to minimize the total expected cost. After defining the stages and the state and decision variable and objectives, we're going to start with n is equals to 4 state 4 x4 so for our state our state again is the amount or price of alloy at a given stage so we are going to put here 10 11 and 12 and then our decision variable is either to purchase or not to purchase the alloy at a given stage and then for our function, if, we're, if we are going to purchase the alloy, of course it's going to amount to the state. Alright, so our table has been set up so if we are going to purchase of course we're going to make use of the objective function so this is 10 11 and 12. if we don't purchase by the end of the trading week then that means we are not able to um do our objective so this is failure this means we, we failed to do our objective so for for the optimal solution we have 10 11 and 12 and we have purchase 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 because we have no choice but to purchase the product at any price okay so now we are going to proceed to stage 3 we have n is equals to 3 s3 x3 Of course, our state will still be 10, 11, or 12. Now, our decision variables would either be purchase and not purchase. For our objective function, it's still the same with the purchase. So, S3, X3 is equal to the same with state number 3, number 4. So, now, if we are going to not purchase the alloy at stage 3, we are going to make use of the expected value, which is expected value of x is equals to the summation of all x times the probability of x. So we will usually make use of this formula in solving a probabilistic dynamic programming. So in this case, it will become S3 is equals to 10 to 12 S3 times the probability of S3. So the probability of S3 in the given problem, for 10,000, we have a 20% chance. For 11,000, we have 110,000, I mean, 50% chance. And then 30% chance for 12, 120,000. So for purchase, it is still the same price if we are going to purchase it. If we are not going to purchase it, we're going to find the expected value. So just compute that on your own. But 
if you're going to compute that, 10 times 0 0.2 plus 11 times 0 0.5 plus 12 times 0 0.3. And then the value will be 11.1, 11.1, 11 11.1. Now, we are going to find the optimal value. So for the optimal value, we're going to minimize the total expected cost. So we're going to choose 10, going to choose 11, and then we're going to choose 11.1. So if it's 10,000 at the third week, we are going to purchase it. If it's 11,000 at the third week, we're going to purchase it. If it's 12,000 during the third week, we're not going to purchase it. Okay. Now let's proceed to stage two. N is equals to two. S sub two, X sub two. Still 10. 11 and then 12 still either purchase or not purchase for our function function of 2 s sub 2 x sub 2 equals to purchase f sub 2 s sub 2 x sub 2 not purchase So if we are not going to purchase, it's still S2 is equals to 10 is to 12, S2 times the expected value. Okay. So for our objective function, if we are going to purchase the alloy at stage 2, then the values are still the same. It's still 10, 11, or 12. But if we're not going to purchase it, we're going to find the expected value again. But this time around, we're going to make use of the optimal values of 10, 11, and 11.1, in, which is in stage 3, and then multiply it by the probability 20%, 50%, and 30%. So um, if we're not going to purchase it, we're going to come up with 10.83. If we are going to purchase it, it's like 10, 11, or 12, still the same. So now we're going to find the optimum value. So we're, we're, we are finding the um, least cost. So we have 10, 10.83, and then 10.83 as well. So we have purchase, not purchase, not purchase. So it's stage two. If it's if if the value of the alley is 10 100,000, we are going to purchase it. If it's 110,000 and 120,000, we're not going to purchase it. Okay. okay so for our um, last stage, or n is equals to one. We have S1, X1. Still 10, 11, or 12. Either to purchase or not purchase it. And the function is still the same if, it, if you're going to purchase it. If you're not going to purchase it, Find the expected value as sub 1 is equal to 10, 12, except that we are going to use the optimal values from the previous table, which is F2, S2, times the probability of each. Okay. So for... So for our decision variable of purchase we are going to put 10 11 or 12 for not purchase we are going to 
find the expected value of 10, 10.83 and 10.83 with the same probability as 20%, 50% and 30%. So 10 times 0 0.2 plus 10.83 times 0 0.5 plus 10.83 times 0 0.3. So we have 10.664. Then again, we're going to find the least cost in order to find the optimum value, which is 10, 10.664, 10.664. So uh, if it's 10,000 in the first week, we're going to purchase it. If it's 11,000, we're not going to purchase it. If it's 120,000, not going to purchase it. Okay, so our optimal policy, optimal policy. In stage one, if it's, if 10,000, if 10, or if 11, or 12. So, if it's 100,000, if the cost of the alley is 100,000 on the first week, then you're going to purchase it. If it's 10 or 110,000 or 120,000 in the first week, we are not going to purchase it and then proceed to stage two. Same as stage one, if it is worth 100,000, we're going to purchase it purchase the alley. If the alley is worth 110,000 or 120,000, you're not going to purchase it. If x next is x3, if 10, if 11 or 12, oh no, if 10 or 11, okay, so f in stage 3, if it's 10, 100,000 or 110,000, we are going to purchase it. If it's 120,000, we are not going to purchase it. In stage 4, we have no choice but to purchase it. May it be 10, 100,000, 110,000 or 120,000 because we need to achieve our objective which is to buy an alloy. So that's it.